Hey guys, it's Jen with Mother Time. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am refreshing my kiddos' bathroom, so I look forward to taking you along as I update the space. I always like to clean first before I refresh the space, so I'm gonna take a few minutes and just clean everything, make sure everything is nice and sparkling clean before we begin. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I am so happy you are here. Make sure you hit the little subscribe button below so you never miss a video. Here are some of the new purchases I got for the bathroom refresh. The first one is this really cool waffle weave hand towel. It's from Target, it's by Casa Luna. It does have mixed reviews on the website. People say that it shrinks after you wash it, but I love the texture and it comes in several different colors. I thought I'd give it a shot and being dark, maybe I can hand wash this and then let it dry um, instead of throwing it in the dryer. We'll see. Um, but I just liked the texture on that and that it's dark, it's good for a kid's bathroom. So hands and all of that um, won't get dirty as quickly because I have to always take that in consideration when, you know, doing it for the kids. I also got these washcloths from Hearth and Handline, also at Target. It was a pack of three for $7.99. Uh, I thought these were just cute to maybe tuck somewhere or just to use in the bathroom since some of the other things I did get for the bathroom all kind of coordinates. And then I got this hearth in hand um, hand towel. Now this one is white, so I don't know if I'm gonna go with the Casa Luna one or this one. I guess I'm just gonna see as we um, refresh this bathroom but I like the texture on it and the fringy bottom. This one, this hand towel was $7.99 and I did pick up two. If I don't use them in this bathroom, I may use them in the master bathroom or I may use them um, just part of the decor. I just picked them up to see. And then I got some coordinating um, bath towels too. These are also from Target in the Hearth and Hand line. They were $12.99 each. So I grabbed two for each of the kids to kind of hang in the bathroom for them to use. I do have like everyday white towels that we typically use as well, but sometimes it's nice to have a nice towel. So this is the shower curtain that I chose. It's also by Hearth and Hand. I try to keep it on the same line. It was $24.99. Um, I just like the fringe bottom. And I like that it's a, a creamy and then that um, gray striped color. So I thought, I just love the fringe. <laughs> and I thought this coordinated nicely with the towels, but also too, if I do decide to use the Casa Luna towel, that goes too. So we will see. The rug that I picked up is this one from Opal House, also at Target. It's their perfectly soft bath rug. I love the texture that chunky texture on it and that creamy color i did have a redone one in here that's actually still in good condition um but i liked this one and i thought it coordinated so nicely with everything and that creamy color so we're going to give this one a shot as well i also picked up this reed diffuser from target it's by casa luna and it is the clarity with grapefruit and ginger to inspire reflection I smell the candle there and it smells really good. And this has really good reviews on the target.com website. I'll be honest with you, I have not used a re diffuser in so long, but I wanted to give this a try. I thought it would be better than using a candle in their bathroom and would just always have that nice constant um, fragrance in here. So these are some of the new pieces that I have to update and refresh their bathroom, the towel, and this is just, you know, sometimes it's just adding the shower curtain and a new bath mat, a new rug, some fresh towels to kind of refresh the space. So I'm kind of looking forward to just implementing a few of these things where you're not doing a major change and it'll give it a nice refresh. So let's get started. I'm gonna begin by taking the old shower curtain down.
Now it's time to hang the new one and I'm so excited to see how this looks. I'm using the existing curtain rod and hooks and even the liner, so this is just an easy switch. If you are loving the flush and wash sign, it is from a shop on Etsy. I'll add a link for it in the description below. I love the sign so much. I actually have a coordinating one in our guest bathroom as well. Here is the shower curtain. I already love the way it looks, except for the wrinkles. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my steamer to get rid of all of these wrinkles. And there are the cute little tassels on the bottom. I love the length of this. I think it's perfect and I love the stripes. I think it's gonna look even better once the wrinkles are removed. I'm gonna take a few minutes and steam my shower curtain to get all of these wrinkles out. Now that I have the shower curtain finally hung and steamed, it's time for a little coffee break. I am so happy that I have the steam and hung and just get that out of the way. It's probably my least favorite thing to do when it comes to refreshing a bathroom because it's having to steam or iron the shower curtain. The steamer that I use, this one is from HSN. If this one is still available, I'll add a link to it in the description below. If you don't have one, I highly recommend one. It's such a handy little thing to have for using on shower curtains or if you don't feel like ironing. So now it's time to finish off some coffee and then get to the fun part, which is decorating and adding all of the fun stuff to this bathroom refresh. I'm gonna add a tissue box on the back of the toilet and I found this cute Ray Dunn tissue holder at Home Goods. Now for my favorite part, styling a tear tray. This tear tray is from Hobby Lobby. I love this tear tray. I actually have it in black as well on my coffee bar. And I'm gonna start by adding that Casa Luna rediffuser onto the tear tray. My favorite way to remove stickers from glass and containers is putting a hairdryer over the sticker for a few minutes and it makes peeling it off so much easier. I'm gonna fill the glass jars with Q-tips and cotton swabs. Not only does it make these jars look cute, it's also practical for bathroom. I love this sphere from Hobby Lobby and it's just a nice decorative accent to this tear tray. I'm going to roll up a few of the washcloths and add them to the tear tray as well.
I love styling tier trays and taking a few minutes to move things around till I get it to where I want. And I love a tier tray for a bathroom because not only is it cute, but it's functional as well. To the other side of the faucet, I'm going to place this basket that I found at Home Goods, along with some pan soap, a battery operated flickering candle, and one of the other washcloths. Now it's time to try out both of the hand towels to see which one I like better. Now the vanity is done and I love using a tear tray on the vanity, especially on a small vanity because it buys you real estate. It's great to add your essentials on like a little container with Q-tips and cotton swabs, but also for decor pieces too. So your bathroom feels more inviting. I am in love with this Casa Luna rediffuser. Like I mentioned before, I was a little worried about using a rediffuser. I've not used one in so long. This one has sold me on them. Again, it smells amazing and the scent clarity is fantastic for a bathroom. I absolutely love the way it smells. And then I ended up choosing the Casa Luna hand towel. I'm a little worried, but hopefully it will not be a problem for me. Some of the reviews were mixed on the target.com website, but I'm just going to wash that and let it air dry so it doesn't shrink. I just like that pop of color against the white walls and I like that texture too. So now I'm just going to finish up with a few more little details. I'm also going to show you behind the door where I have our towel rack. I love to use the real estate behind the door as well. So I'm going to finish up adding the details and this little refresh will be complete. Now I'm going to add the rug and hang the bath towels that I got. Not only are they functional, but they're decorative as well. Now I'm going to add this trash can that I got at Home Goods. I like the lid on it and a basket full of towels. I thought the space above the hand towel was a little bare, so I shopped my home and found this cute wreath that I hung there, and it's perfect in this spot. And the kids' bathroom refresh is complete. I love the way that it turned out. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today as I refresh my kid's bathroom. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button below so you never miss a video. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.